Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel and this is a second video that I'm posting at the same day of course of the announcement of the brand new OnePlus 9 series from OnePlus. Now this video is going to be primarily focused on the OnePlus 9. In my opinion the most the most improved device from last year to this year because OnePlus changed a lot of things about the OnePlus 9. The entry-level model has always had a lot of things that were not available from the OnePlus 9 Pro or the 8 Pro. So let's keep it here and let me share with you guys the best features the top five features of the brand new OnePlus nine and of course we'll talk a little bit of course about the oneplus watch as it was announced at the same time this is tk and this is the oneplus 9 5g Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. The first thing I'll say is that unboxing this package is definitely very unique. Uh, they sent me over a reviewer's package which included obviously a few extra goodies and of course the first thing you'll notice when you take out the box cover is the moon or the astronaut holding uh, basically being on the moon. Hasselblad is known for being the uh, cameras that were used on the moon. Um, in the box I got basically the both phones and of course we got the stickers. Uh, we of course still include the 65 watt charging which is a brand new thing to both both of these devices, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and of course a couple of cases they provided us uh, to keep these babies protected. Now the first thing you'll notice the design difference here. Uh, now the color that I have here is one of three different ones. There is a basically a winter mist, there's the arctic uh, sky, and of course the astral black which is the one that I have here. Uh, the cameras on the back are slightly different as you see here we no longer have that very reflective material as you can see me and the cameras are no longer present in the middle we still have a triple camera setup and it's just a little bit harder to see you can see it right there three main cam sensors a 48 and a 50 and of course we also have that uh, third lens at the bottom a dual tone LED flash that's present and of course we have the oneplus logo sitting in the back the main difference as well from the back here is now we have a 4500 milliampere battery that it is wirelessly charged so we actually now have wireless charging on the oneplus 9 and not only that, it charges at 15 watts, which is definitely very nice. And the camera sensors that we have here, now we have a 48 megapixel, which is the IMS 689. That's the primary shooter. And the secondary sensor is pretty much the same sensor we saw on the OnePlus 9 Pro, and that's the IMX 766. Uh, now, last one is obviously a two megapixel depth sensor. The front facing camera is gonna be a 16 megapixel sensor. And for the most part, it's the exact same camera sensor that we see on the OnePlus 9 Pro. The display is a little bit different than the 9 Pro as we here have a 6.55 1080p resolution, but no longer at 90 Hertz. Now we're able to go all the way up to 120 Hertz. As I said to you guys at the beginning of this video, this device has received the most updates from last year's model than what we even compare to the, between the 8, and, uh, the 8 Pro and the 9 Pro. This actually got a lot more. Now, the charging speed that we have here, as I said, uh, 65 watts, which is pretty much what we saw with the AT, so definitely fast wire charging, and of course, 15 watt wireless charging. Uh, the display here is a 6.55 inch display that is also a flat display as opposed to the curved display of the 9 Pro, a return to the flat displays, which is a lot of us actually have a preference towards. So we're here, the OnePlus 8 Pro, uh, OnePlus 8 and the 8 Pro were pretty much copies of each other with the curved display and the OnePlus 8T had the flat one, now we got that one back at 1080p with 120 hertz refresh rate. And then when we talk about the specifications, again, Snapdragon 888, there's going to be two configurations, a 12 and an 8 gigabytes of RAM, as well as 128 gigs of internal storage to 256. Uh, the RAM is going to be LPDDR5 and the storage is going to be UFS 3.1. Mentioned to you guys the sensors, 4850, two megapixel triple camera setup on the back, 120 hertz AMOLED 6.55 inch display, the OnePlus 9 5G, and of course running Android 11 with Oxygen OS 11 right there. Now having the ability of going up to 120 hertz is definitely going to be very appreciated here. And keep in mind that this is still running at 1080p, so battery consumption is going to be a little bit better on the OnePlus 9 over the OnePlus 9 Pro, since that one is a QHD resolution, and of course a little bit bigger at 6.7 inches. Now please keep in mind that I did post the separate video for the OnePlus 9 Pro. If you'd like to check that out, please check the link in the description to be able to see all of the cool features that came with the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now let's jump into the camera. Of course, we want to be able to see all of the new features that we have. Now Hasselblad obviously has their name present right there on the back. It's a little bit hard to see, but definitely present right there, Hasselblad in there, as it is present on the OnePlus 9 Pro. Um, we also have the nice new Pro mode here that is also considered to be a Hasselblad mode. Now, between the two devices, they're very similar, although the sensors are both listed as 48 megapixel sensors, they're not the same sensor, so just be aware of that. 
Uh, one thing I would probably say is we have the histogram, the ability of shooting in RAW, of course, as well as JPEG. Uh, a couple of modes here for different exposure settings, a histogram present, the ability of setting up the ISO, the white balance, the shutter speed, as well as autofocus. And what I really like about it is the ability of actually setting our experience here and, of course, turning on uh, focus peaking if you want to be able to see exactly where your focus level is set. So a lot of nice modes that are built in. Uh, but the ability of actually setting your exposure and your focal point at different places. So exposure point and of course focal point are set to two different spots to be able to get the colors just the right way you want them. Now keep in mind this is only present on the back facing sensors, the front facing sensors do not have this mode, but we still have tilt shift, we have obviously pro, nightscape, portrait mode, both regular and slightly wider, of course uh, photo mode, and that gives us the ability of using up to 2x here as opposed to what we saw with 3.3 on the 9 Pro. Uh, Again, wide angle, all the way, all the way, ultra, ultra wide. We have macro option as well on the top. And of course, under video, there's a little bit of a difference here. We don't have the 120 frames per second on the 4K. So we have 1080p, 4K, and 8K. Uh, 1080p maximum at 60, 4K maximum at 60, and 8K at maximum of 30. So we have 8K, 30 frames, and of course, we have the ability of enjoying all of those. Let's go ahead and jump into a quick sample on the front facing and the back facing sensor on the brand new OnePlus 9. We're going to start off with the front facing camera here on the OnePlus 9 and now this is obviously the standard one. Uh, coincidentally though it's the same sensor on both. Uh, both of them are capable of providing us 1080p 60 frames per second so there's no 4K. Uh, for some reason the Nord last year was the only device that received that type of a, a benefit but the main thing I want to mention though is that one of the new UI elements here is the ability of actually seeing a little light that goes right above where the camera is so you know exactly where to look whenever you're filming video. So 1080p 60 is going to be on the front facing camera. Let's go ahead and switch over to the main sensor in the back. Switching it over to the main sensor in the back. Now there's a few differences here that obviously are attributed to the being that this is the 9 and there's the 9 Pro. Uh, the main thing is that we can shoot 4K 60 frames per second here and we can also shoot 8K 30 frames per second on the OnePlus 9. Uh, the difference is the 4K 120 or the 120 frames per second 4K is not going to be supported on the 9 and only available on the 9 Pro. Uh, you can actually also shoot 4K 60 frames per second coincidentally on the wide angle lens which is very very nice. So multiple sensor and of course the Pro has to fly right now but hopefully this is a good example of the audio and video on the brand new OnePlus 9. As far as stabilization uh, we're pretty much capped to using the primary sensor but we have the ability of using 4K 30 frames per second as opposed to just having a 1080p stabilized video like most other cameras available on the market. Now before we get into gaming I do want to share with you guys a quick sample of how the audio actually works on this. So we're going to go ahead and put the volume all the way up to 100% Again, keep in mind configurations pretty much. You can pick the actual audio source, or with not an audio source, but where the audio is going if you have Bluetooth headphones, um, or you're also able to turn on caption as well as configure the audio for all of them. So we are at 100%, again, supported with Dolby Atmos, bottom firing speaker, and top earpiece. And I'm going to go ahead and just move it all the way up to the point where the nice little drop on the sound starts. And let's go ahead and listen to Jumbo by Alex Quindo. Check it out. Absolutely sounds fantastic. The audio on this definitely sounds very, very good. And one thing I do want to mention to you guys, I know a lot of people always wonder about the OnePlus 9 or the, the entry-level version of whatever OnePlus device is coming out, is how are the haptics? And for my testing, both the, eight, the 9 and the 9 Pro share the same haptic motor. So you're definitely getting the best experience when it comes down to haptics from the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now the gaming experience is also pretty much similar. We have my games that's present there. I only have a couple of games installed here, uh, but the video that I'm going to share with you guys once we get into the games, are we're going to show you guys all of the benefits of both of them since they both are running pretty much similar uh, RAM speed as well as internal storage and of course as well as the processor speed. So if we jump in real quick into Asphalt 9 you can actually customize it to go in there and see the different modes. Um, now Fnatic mode has been rebranded re as Pro Gaming and we'll see that in a second. Uh, and of course we can change the uh, view here to go into either grid or all the way but last but not least and of course when you're in the actual game if you swipe down from the top right you're able to open up and access uh, the built-in uh, gaming system so this will work with whatsapp will work directly with uh, messages as well as telegram if you have them fanatic mode as i mentioned will be renamed to basically be called pro gaming you'll see here programming mode is actually named here for some reason i think the ui element just doesn't show it yet uh, but keep in mind, about the time you pick up the retail unit or retail version of this, this should be fine. Lastly, you have screen recording and of course you're able to go in there, customize it, and of course set it to actually record to the resolution. By default, it's set to the maximum resolution here since we have 1080p. Let me go ahead and share with you guys a quick sample of gaming on the OnePlus 9.
Hellhounds have captured the hardpoint. Friendly XS-1 Goliath is landing. Headshot! Now the good thing about the OnePlus 9 here is that it's capable of being charged all the way up to 65 watts here. And it actually has the same battery size as the OnePlus 9 Pro. So 4500 milliampere battery will be supported on both of them. And again, charging speed should be pretty comparable to both. Uh, wireless charging is again is here up to 15 watts. That's something to keep in mind. Now for that, you could use pretty much the, uh, the charger that there was released last year with the OnePlus 8 Pro, or you can buy the new charger that OnePlus just released. Just keep in mind that the maximum charging speed is going to be capped at 15 watts. So OnePlus decided to put a lot more focus on the OnePlus 9 this year than we've seen in the past years. And what I mean by this essentially is whenever we've seen a 7 and a 7 Pro, an 8 and an 8 Pro, uh, the 7 and the 8 have always had, uh, for the most part, they didn't really share all of the main benefits all the way. So an example, we have 120 frames per second refresh rate here on this device. We have 65 watt charging. We have wireless charging, reverse wireless charging. There's a lot of things here that are going in here that we didn't have in the past. Now, we also have the same LPDDR5 RAM on both the Pro and the non-Pro model of this device, as well as the internal storage are all running at the same speed, UFS 3.1. So there's not a lot of compromises really when it comes down to the OnePlus 9. Now, the flat display is actually a benefit to a lot of a lot of people that prefer it over the curved display. So this is something that is very nice. We used to have that with the OnePlus 7. The OnePlus 8 kind of went away where it was more of a small version of the uh, 8 Pro. Now we finally have it back again. It's a flat display at 120 hertz. Uh, the camera performance has definitely improved over last year. They share the same sensor when it comes down to the ultra wide. So again, uh, we just don't have 4K 120. There was a few things they had to keep for the pro, you know the higher end model. Um, now, as far as pricing and availability, it is going to be available starting at about $729 for the entry-level OnePlus 9, all the way up to $1,069 for the highest-level OnePlus 9 Pro. As I mentioned, 12, one, uh, 12, sorry, 8 12 gigabytes for configuration, as well as the 128 to 256. So depending on the model you pick up, and again, there's three different colors. Now, the OnePlus watch will be available starting the 14th of April at $159. And that's gonna be the new well, the new feature that we saw that we were, well, in my opinion, should have been released in 2020, but we finally have it here in 2021. Uh, the main thing that obviously is as soon as I get my hands on that watch, we'll definitely be providing you guys some coverage. Uh, but overall, let me know what do you guys think of the OnePlus 9. I'm really excited for all of the new features that we've seen here. Uh, the influence from Hasselblad is definitely very much present in here. Pro mode is very strong. And of course, the color science, you can definitely see that in the images as I'm sharing that with you guys. Uh, again, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for the support. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one.